Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem. AB is an arc of a circle, center O, radius 9 cm. The length of the arc AB is 6 pi cm. The area of sector AOB is k pi cm squared. Find the value of k. Okay, so this is the diagram. We can see that this curved path is the arc because it's a portion on the circumference and arc is a portion on the circumference now this is also a sector this portion here because the sector is a portion within a circle that's bounded by two radii and an arc now how do we know that OA is a radius as well as OB we know that because we've been told that O is the center of the circle and if O is the center and this curved portion is an arc so it tells us that the line OA is a radius because a radius is a straight line that runs from the center to the circumference okay so in order for us to obtain the value of K we are going to be relying on these two crucial information the first is the value of the length of the arc AB the length of the arc is 6 pi so we are going to assume that the angle subtended by the arc at the center here is in degrees. So if that's the case, the length of an arc, the formula is the angle theta over 360 times 2 pi r. But the length of the arc has a value, 6 pi. So we are just going to substitute 6 pi for the length of the arc. So the left hand side is going to be 6 pi equal to now we have no idea what the angle is so this is just going to remain as theta over 360 times so we also have we are not told to use to substitute any value for pi so pi is just going to remain as pi but we have a value for the radius r is the radius and that's nine centimeters so this is going to be nine now we can cut a number of things here for example 9 can reduce 360, so 9 here 1. 9 in 36 is 4, so in 360 is going to be 40. Similarly, 2 can reduce 40 20 times. Okay, so on the left, I have 6 pi. And on the right, I've got theta and pi. So this is theta pi. And at the denominator, I have 20. So if I cross multiply, this is going to give theta pi times 1, and that's theta pi, equals 6 pi times 20. If I divide both sides by pi, this is going to be 6 pi times 20 divided by pi. So clearly, pi is going to cut pi, and the angle is going to be 120 degrees so this is the angle 120 degrees but that's exactly not what we are asked to find what we are asked to obtain is the value of k since the area of the sector is k pi we are also going to be relying on the formula for the area of the sector of course the angle is in degrees so we are going to use this formula area of sector is equal to the angle divided by 360 times pi r squared okay so the length of an arc is theta over 360 times 2 pi r but the area of the sector is theta over 360 times pi r squared why is that the case it is because the length of an arc is a fraction of the circumference and the formula for the circumference is 2 pi r while the area of the sector is a fraction of the area of a circle and we know that the area of the circle is pi r squared okay so we have a value for the angle already so i'm just going to replace theta by 120 degrees so this is over 360 times pi remains pi now the radius is 9 so this is 9 squared now on the left is the area of the sector and i have a representation for that that's k pi so let's see if we can reduce something here uh, 120 and 360 so 0 can make way for 0 
12 here, 1, 12 and 36 is 3. And already 9 squared is 81. So 3 can also reduce 81. 27 times. So on the left, I've got a k pi equal to, and on the right, I'm left with 27 pi. So right here, I can just divide both sides by pi. So dividing the left by pi, I'm going to be left with a k. And dividing the right by pi, it's evident that my k is 27. This is the value of k. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, kindly like, subscribe, and share it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.